All right, I am officially ditching my clipless pedals and moving back to flats. So just wanted to make this video for you guys. Just kind of been thinking about it a lot lately. I took a really hard slam when I first started riding on these clipless pedals. These are the Crank Bros Mallet E Long Spindle clipless pedals. I'll go ahead and show that slam I took right here. And since that slam, I have been out for over four weeks, going on my fifth week since being able to ride a mountain bike. And it really just got me thinking, are the benefits worth the risk? Is the risk worth the reward? I guess that's another way of saying it. So I originally got these clipless pedals because I was starting to ride a little bit more aggressive trails on my enduro bike, my Trek Slash right here. And some of those gnarlier, rockier, rootier, like steep terrain, it really helps to have your feet clipped in so your feet aren't bouncing off the pedal. Also, when you take your feet off the pedal and you're waiting for your bros to catch up with you and then you wanna throw your feet back on the pedal real quick and take back off. There's times with my flat pedals and my flat pedal shoes that I'm always wondering if my foot is on there perfectly and sometimes that'll bug me a little bit. With the clips, these clipless pedals and these clipless shoes, these are the shoes I had right here, these Crank Bros Mallet Lace shoes, those with that locked in there, you just knew every single time that you're locked in and ready to go. So those are some of the reasons why I got the clipless pedals. I was really looking forward to getting used to riding on these things. However, my first ride out, I took that super nasty slam broke two of my ribs on the side. It's been over four weeks, going on like five weeks now since I've been able to ride my bike. And I really just got to thinking, is the risk worth the reward? So for me, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to flat pedals. So I got the Cro-Mag Daga flat pedals right here, super long pins. I got my 510 Freerider Pro Mid VCS shoes. These little Velcro straps on the front right here that I love. If you guys haven't watched my video on these shoes and my initial impression on those, I'll go ahead and throw a link in the top right up there. I never intended on ditching flats altogether. I always planned on running flat pedals when I would go to like a bike park or hit jump lines or anything like that. So the clipless pedals for me, it was never gonna be a complete switchover. I was always gonna run flats at, a, at a times. I just thought that the clipless pedals would give me that extra edge on the climbs and that extra control on the descents. So why am I going back to flats altogether? Well, let's go ahead and just talk about the comparisons, the pros and the cons, clips versus flats. So clips, you're clipped in, you get that really good climbing performance on the way up, which definitely helps if you're riding an enduro bike or a long travel bike or any kind of bike that doesn't pedal quite as well. It could also help if you're on XC bike and you're just trying to really race up those hills. So clips, best on the way up on climbing, definitely. Clips, a bit better when you get through those really chunky rocky sections you're able to kind of lift up that back in you're able to maintain proper foot placement the whole way your feet you never have to worry about them bouncing off the pedal flats really easy to be able to jump back off the bike really good for the type of rider like me who's always trying to jump and pop off every single feature and who often pushes it too far like i did on my clips and when taking those slams with the flats, you're able to ditch that bike and roll out of it a lot easier. So this isn't the like most well-prepared video for sure. This isn't a video that I put a lot of research or detail into. I just wanted to tell you guys, as this wind is blowing like crazy, and I hope it's not ruining my footage, kind of why I'm going back to clips. I definitely just want to answer some of your guys' questions down in the comment section. So leave those comments below. Let me know your guys' thoughts, comments, concerns. Have any of you guys had a similar experience trying to switch over to clips? Or any of you guys 
die-hard clipless riders that think that going back to flats was a mistake, go ahead, leave a comment below. But most of all, get stoked, go ride, and have some fun, people.